Welcome back to On The Football. Today's detailed review is on the Nike Superbad 4 football gloves that I unboxed a couple weeks ago. These actually are a big improvement over the Superbad 3.0 gloves that I have right here. So I'm doing a little comparison, uh, tell you all about the benefits of this glove, what the improvements they made over the Superbad 3.0s. I'll cover off, of course, on the grip, the fit, the ball feel, the durability, and of course the ventilation in the glove. So without further ado, let's get into the review. Now, if you saw the unboxing, some of this is going to be a little bit of a repeat video. But, uh, of course, the Super Bads are padded receiver gloves. They have flexible padding, it says it right here on the package, as well as lightweight knit construction, which is a lot like the Vapor Knit. I'll talk more about that. And then the palm, the grip uh, that they use is Magna Grip. Uh, in the video, I said the SV4 was Super Bowl 4. Obviously, Super Bowl 4 was a long time ago, so the SV4 that's written in here that you see is for Super Bad 4. They went away from the 3.0, you know, you had the Super Bad. 2.0, 3.0, now it's just super bad. 4, SB4 right here. It's got the size on the outside. Of course, just like every uh, Nike glove, it has a jock tag of some sort. The jock tag they actually put right there on the cuff. So here it has uh, room for your name. Uh, you can put your name or your number in that place. Um, it has a, a knit construction, so it's a lot like the fly knit gloves. Um, which is really cool because it makes for a really lightweight padded glove and it feels a lot like a regular glove. It feels a lot like the original Vapor Jets or the Vapor Jet uh, 3.0. Um, you know, the Vapor Jet new uh, Vapor Jet 4 is a lot lighter than 3.0. So, this is a lot thinner glove than this Super Bad uh, because the construction, the Vapor Net, is a lot thinner. The padding itself is also thinner, which allows you to uh, more maneuverability and flexibility with your glove and your hand. Something else I really liked about this glove is the overall design. So here you can see these kind of specs. Uh, they give some dimension to the glove. They don't necessarily shine a light or sparkle or anything like that, uh, but it is reminiscent of, again, the Vapor Knit gloves, and that's uh, due to the material. Uh, all those holes there, a lot of them are ventilation for the glove, so this is going to be a much better ventilated glove than the Super Bad 3.0s. So again, just recapping the improvements that they made, uh, just visually, um, it has a different design, different material on the outside, same magnet grip on the palm, and uh, just a little bit different designs, of course, in the cuff of the glove. The main benefits are that smaller padding and uh, thinner glove. Now when we talk about the actual grip of the glove, it uses that same magnet grip material, uh, as the Vapor Jets and Super Bads, you know, once upon a time the Super Bads did use Super Grip. Um, that is no longer, but this material, I don't know if it's, uh, you know, better than the older Magna Grip, but it did feel good. I played with them in the rain, I played with them, you know, uh, when it was dry, and it maintained a lot of that grip. So overall, it got the same grip as the Vapor Jets, 8 out of 10. Now what I really, really, really like about this glove is the fit of it. So it still has some of that compressive fit. You can see it stretch, you know, when I pull it down, which makes for a better fitting glove. It fits way better than the Vaporjet 3.0s, right? My hand is snug. It's snug around my fingertips. It has this uh, leather construction on the sides of the fingers that really aid in keeping the fingers straight on the gloves. It's got the thin padding, so it doesn't feel bulky at all. So it has a great fit, similar again to the Vaporjet, so Nike really stepped it up in the Super Bad Force. And uh, this got a 9 out of 10 for fit. The ball feel on this glove, because it's a thinner glove, is just slightly better than the Super Bads. Now, if you remember uh, the Super Bad 3.0s, what made this glove uh, really cool with the fit is that they broke up the padding where you actually bent uh, your hand, and so that allowed for a better fit. Now, this padding isn't broken up at all, uh, but because it's such a thinner padding and more flexible, it actually flexes with your hand, so you do have a great a great fit on the glove or ball feel. Uh, but overall, because uh, it is a little bit of a thinner glove, you do get a little bit better ball feel. And so for that reason, this got a 7.5 out of 10 for ball feel. The breathability on the glove is going to be slightly better because of all the ventilation points that you have on the glove. Now, not all of these are ventilation points, but when you every time you see this design here, there's actually perforation in the glove. And because it's the vapor knit material, it does breathe really well. So ventilation is improved from the Super Bad 3.0s by half a point. But I did give it a 7.5 out of 10 for ventilation. Super, super, super durable glove. Much better than the 3.0s. 
Now the 3.0s, the actual construction of the glove was great. Uh, same thing with this. I mean, uh, the stitching is good, the quality is good. It doesn't look like it's gonna tear. The vapor material is strong. It's reinforced with the padding. Uh, on the 3.0s, if you remember, I talked a little bit about the grip. The grip on the fingertips wore away pretty fast. This is the 3.0 right here. I didn't experience that on the Super Bad 4s, so it did get a little bit better of a rating in the overall durability department, and I gave it a nine out of 10 for durability. Last thing I'm gonna to talk to you guys about uh, besides the design on the glove, they have a new design. So I showed this in the unboxing, but it's got the skull helmet with Nike, so it's a little different than what you've seen before from Nike, but it's kind of their new design they're going to on the gloves. Uh, in my unboxing, I said that only had two colors, and yes, you're right. So when I did that unboxing, there were only two colors, white and black available. Now they've expanded the lineup. They've got solid colors in a variety of, you know, your green, your blues, your red. So definitely check those out. Uh, they kept the price the same from last year, $55. So that's kind of the going price for, uh, you know, a padded receiver glove. Uh, but what positions do I recommend padded receivers gloves for? Uh, running backs, you know, you're touching the ball a lot, helmets on your hands, tackles on your hands. You want to protect your hands at all times so a padded receiver glove is probably going to be good for you anyone on defense from your safeties your dbs your corners your linebackers uh, even your defensive ends uh, you want anything any position where you're going to touch the ball uh, on defense you're probably going to want a padded receiver glove um, receivers uh, depending on what type of receiver you are uh, you know, if you're a possession receiver, you may want a uh, padded receiver glove. Or, um, you know, if you're a different type of receiver, you may want something that's a little bit lighter for you. So that's my detailed review. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to give me a thumbs up. Share, subscribe, check out my other glove videos on my channel. And I will see you guys next time.